We know a complex number z can be written into the polar form, z modulus times cosine theta plus i sine theta, where theta is z's argument. Let's derive z with respect to theta. We know the derivative of cosine theta is minus sine theta, and the derivative of sine theta is cosine theta. So dz over d theta is, z modulus times minus sine theta plus i cosine theta. Minus 1 is i squared. So it is z modulus times i squared sine theta plus i cosine theta. Take out i, we get, i times z modulus times cosine theta plus i sine theta. This is i times z. So the derivative of z is i z. Now let's resolve the differential equation, dz over d theta is i z. Separate the variables. We get, the integral of 1 over z dz, equals the integral of i d theta. This is, ln z equals i theta plus c. So z is e to i theta plus c, which is e to i theta, times e to c. For the initial condition, we put theta equals 0 in the polar form. Then, z equals z modulus times cosine 0 plus i sine 0. This is z modulus. Put this in the general solution, we get, z modulus is e to c. Therefore, z is z modulus time e to i theta. This is the exponent form of a complex number. It is equivalent to the polar form. They both use the modulus and argument to express a complex number. Express 2 plus 2i in exponent form. Z's modulus is 2 root 2. Z's argument is quarter pi. So the exponent form is 2 root 2 times e to quarter pi i. Express minus 1 plus root 3i in exponent form. W's modulus is 2. W is in the second quadrant. So its argument is pi plus inverse tan minus root 3, which is 2 thirds pi. So the exponent form is 2 times e to 2 thirds pi i. With the exponent form, it's easier to see what happens to the modulus and argument when we multiply or divide two complex numbers. Z1 is Z1's modulus times e to i theta 1. Z2 is Z2's modulus times e to i theta 2. So Z1 times Z2 is Z1's modulus times Z2's modulus, times e to i theta 1, times e to i theta 2. This is Z1's modulus times Z2's modulus, times e to i theta 1 plus theta 2. So we get the same result. When we multiply two complex numbers, we multiply their moduli and add their arguments. Similarly, z1 over z2 is z1's modulus times e to i theta 1, over z2's modulus times e to i theta 2. This is z1's modulus over z2's modulus, times e to i theta 1 minus theta 2. So when we divide two complex numbers, we divide their moduli and subtract their arguments. From these, we can see exponent form is a simpler version of polar form. Minus 1 is on the negative real axis. Its modulus is 1. Its argument is pi. So if we write minus 1 in exponent form, minus 1 is e to i pi. Move minus 1, we get, e to i pi plus 1 equals 0. This is called Euler's identity. e, i, pi, 1, and 0 are all important numbers, and this identity links them all together. In this class, we learned. Exponent form of a complex number z is, z's modulus times e to i theta, where theta is the argument of z.
Euler's identity is, e to i pi plus 1 equals 0.